Hi guys, if you have chosen to listen to this book, we're going to be reading the first two chapters. This is from the series Eerie Elementary, and this is actually book five, School Freezes Over. This book series was written by Jack Chabert, and it's illustrated by Sam Ricks. And we actually have this entire series in our library. Branches, which is a part of Scholastic, is the publisher of this book. And this particular one was copyrighted in 2016. Chapter 1, The Storm. I can't even see outside, Sam Graves said to his best friends Antonio and Lucy. It was morning in Miss Grinker's third grade class, and Sam and his friends were at their desks. A huge snowstorm was blowing outside. I've never seen so much snow, Lucy said. Antonio groaned. I can't believe we didn't get a snow day. I should be home on my couch. But Sam wasn't at all worried about the weather. He was too busy looking forward to after school hockey practice. Sam was terrible at most sports, but not hockey. He was one of the best skaters on the team. Miss Grinker and some of Sam's classmates stood at the window. Lucy leaned across her desk and whispered, While everyone's watching the storm, let's look at Orson Erie's notes. Sam nodded. Good idea. Orson Erie was a mad scientist. He was also the architect who designed Erie Elementary almost 100 years ago. Orson Erie found a way to live forever. He became the school. Orson Erie was the school, and the school was Orson Erie. Erie Elementary was a living, breathing thing that fed on students. Sam was the school hall monitor, and Lucy and Antonio were assistant hall monitors. It was their job to protect everyone. They were the only students who knew the awful truth about the school. A few weeks earlier, the three friends had found Orson Erie's old science book. The mad scientist hadn't wanted them to see the book. He had tried to get it back by attacking the science fair. After defeating a giant volcano, Sam and his friends found out why Orson Erie didn't want them reading the book. It was filled with his notes. Sam and his friends couldn't bring the actual book to school. It was too dangerous. Instead, they took photos of the book's pages using Antonio's phone. Antonio made sure no one was looking and then slipped out his phone. Orson must have written about his creepy plans in here, he whispered as Sam and Lucy peered over his shoulder. Suddenly, he said, look at this. Orson wrote, ways I could return. Return, Lucy said. What could that mean? Good question, Sam thought. Orson already cheated death by becoming the school. So what could return mean? Before Sam could respond to Lucy, the wind howled. It sounded like thunder. The windows rattled and the walls shook. Whoosh! Boom! Wham! The windows flew open. Thick snow blew into the classroom. The storm was now a full-on blizzard. Students, shut the windows, Miss Grinker ordered. Sam leaned closer to his friends. As soon as we mentioned Orson's plans to return, the storm got worse. It's like Orson knows we're learning too much, said Lucy. Students struggled to shut the windows, but the wind was too strong. Antonio looked outside. 
Uh, do you think... Sam nodded. Yes, I think Orson Erie is controlling the weather. Chapter 2. Winter Worries It was chaos in the classroom. Some students kept trying to close the windows. Others ducked under their desks. Snow and ice, cold rain blew inside. All anyone could see was white, white, white. It was like the school was now at the very center of a terrible blizzard. Noises came from the radiator in the corner. The radiator rattled and shook. Bonk, clank, clang. Erie Elementary was built a long time ago. The only heat in the building came from rusty metal radiators like this one. Suddenly, there was a long, loud hiss. The radiator shut off completely. Sam realized things had just gone from bad to worse. It felt like the temperature had dropped about 20 degrees in seconds. Antonio eyed the thermometer on the wall. He recently did a science project on temperature, so he knew 32 degrees was when water turned to ice. Guys, Antonio said, if the heat doesn't come back on soon, we'll all freeze. Sam's eyes darted to Antonio's phone. What else does Orson's note say? He asked. The school became angry after you read it aloud, so it must be important. The friends hurried to read more. Sam saw the words, A strong freeze is needed for my plan to work. Just then, the loudspeaker squealed. The principal's voice came on. Students, school has been canceled. Snow day! Some students cheered. Silence! Miss Grinker barked. The principal's voice continued. Parents have been called. Please go to your lockers and get your belongings. All classes report to the gym. Wait there until your parents arrive. The students followed Miss Grinker out into the hall. Sam, Antonio, and Lucy were the last to leave. Just before they stepped into the hall, slam, bam, crash. The window suddenly slammed shut. <gasps> Sam gasped. He saw ice forming around the edges. The windows were being sealed shut. It's like the school is locking all of us inside, Sam thought. We need to check the front entrance, Lucy exclaimed. Sam and his friends raced into the hallway. They ran to the large doors that led outside. Sam pressed his face to the window. He saw huge piles of snow forming against the door. Even worse, Sam saw ice forming on the door hinges. Oh, no, Sam said. He pushed on the door, but it wouldn't budge. Let's all try it once, Antonio said. The three friends threw their shoulders into the door. It still wouldn't open. We're trapped. Ugh. Sam sighed, trapped inside ice-cold, eerie elementary. Well, guys and gals, that gives you an idea about what happens in this series. The three best friends, Antonio, Lucy, and Sam, are constantly fighting against this school that is really a mad scientist in disguise they're trying to keep his existence a secret and at the same time protect their classmates, their teachers, and the staff of their school. If you like a little bit of scary in a series, you like lots and lots of pictures to help you see what's going on, this may be a series for you. All right, hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.